So I got this pretty cool thing in the mail today. And I wanted to show it to you guys. Kind of give you an idea of what to expect if you got something like this as well. Made in China. First thing I see. Love it. Oh, it even says it on this. What I got here is a action camera. It was, I got it off of Amazon. And it was $56.99, I believe. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at all this stuff, man. Look at all that. Look at all that stuff. Holy shit. I think it's kind of annoying that they all come in these tiny little bags. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Look, look at all these little things, man. All these different amount, all these different amounts. Very cool. Another battery. Uh, remote. I think this is to just different kinds of little mounting arms. We got the camera itself. It comes, I think this is the waterproof case that it came in. We got another battery. We got, oh man, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one to attach it to my car. I hope. At least that's the idea. Oh, sweet. Another little mounting thing. Let's see what else we got in here. Some kind of straps. USB cable. Some zip ties. <laughs> uh, some 3M sticky tape. Little business card. User manual. Another thing. And another strap. Man, look at all this shit. This is, this is just so much shit. This is so awesome. There's so much stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the uh, these plastic bags out of the way and get everything settled back in. Um, so the goal here is I just kind of want to show you guys what some of the footage is going to be like with this thing and um, what to maybe expect. It's my first action camera, so I want to do some pretty cool stuff with it. I didn't want to get a GoPro or something expensive that I might break. First thing I want to mention is the user guide here kind of sucks. I mean, it's really straightforward, but there's really not a lot going on here. But it does have this cool app that you can get. Uh, so that's neat. Um, and then the rest of this is just the same thing, just in different languages. So another thing I wanted to point out, I ran into this issue it's not really an issue for everyone. It's kind of an issue for me. Um, but when I extend this, this rubber thing leaves a gap right here. So no matter how I turn it, but it's really, it's a neat little piece of rubber because it's got these, these rails. So it just slides right in here perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half real quick. Just like that. And I'm going to actually take this thing apart real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to super glue a piece like this. And then same thing on the other side here. So that way uh, it'll, it'll grip the way I want it to grip on the thing that I want it to grip on. So uh, for my purposes, this is going to work really well, I think. Um, this isn't going to work for everybody. So there's my little bit of super glue there. And then I think it's going to be way better this way now. I'm going to give this some time to dry because I don't want to put it all back together and glue it together. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then we're going to go actually put this 
We're actually going to put this setup in the Miata. Uh, what I did find out is it came with a new bat or different back with these holes in it, so the microphone will pick up. Um, what I don't like is there's no cutout on the side. That's fine. I understand it's got to be a waterproof camera. But uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get another clear case like this uh, and maybe cut out the side so I can manage the micro SD card and still manage uh, like a USB cable uh, with there as well. But it did come with two batteries, which is really nice. But we got I'm waiting on the other battery to charge.